class. As I said before, these are going to be review class. So today we're going to be reviewing other concepts. Okay, so let's get started. Today we're going to talk about superlatives and comparatives. Okay. Superlatives and comparatives are a very simple concept. Uh, we use superlatives when we want to point out that an element is the top of the category. For example, the cheetah is the fastest animal in the jungle. Usamos los superlatives para indicar que un elemento es lo más top dentro de su grupo, ¿ok? The cheetah is the fastest animal in the jungle. Es el fastest de todos, ¿ok? It's very simple. There's a couple of rules in order to create the superlatives depending on the amount of syllables that the word has. If the word has one syllable, we add the suffix est at the end of the word. Tallest biggest, fastest. If it has if it has more than two syllables, then we add the most, okay? The steeper program is the most interesting. We are pointing out that that one is the most interesting. Ese es el más top de todos, okay? Es el más interesante de todos. Entonces, los superlatives tienen unas consideraciones dependiendo de la cantidad de sílabas que tengan sus palabras. Tienen una sílaba, agregamos el EST al final. Tallest, biggest, fastest. Ok, si tienen más de dos sílabas, entonces utilizamos the most. Y acuérdense siempre, siempre, perdón, de colocar el article the before the word. Ok. The comparatives, we use them to compare two things on the same group. Ok. My room is cleaner than my brother. I am smaller than my brother, ok? Entonces, los utilizamos para comparar dos cosas bajo una misma característica. My room is cleaner than my brother. I am smaller than my brother. Para usar los comparatives, we have some uh, considerations or rules in order to do that. If the word has one syllable, we add ER at the end. Uh, my room is cleaner, I'm smaller, ok? If it has one syllable and remember that after the adjective we have to put them my room's cleaner than my brother acuérdense que después del adjetivo tenemos que colocarle el then que es lo que demarca que se está haciendo una comparación entre dos cosas si tiene más de dos sílabas agregamos el e el i e r or i e s t at the end of the word math is easier than science these are concepts that we use to describe and compare objects okay estos son conceptos que utilizamos para describir y comparar objetos ya sea dentro de un grupo o uno con otro okay now we're going to talk about parts of speech this is something that we talk about during all of our school life but it's still something that generates certain um confusions because we don't actually see them when we're reading a sentence. So let's talk about one by one. There are eight parts of the speech. I ocho partes del, de, de la sentence or the speech. And we're going to talk first about the nouns. The noun is the name of the thing, of the person, of the place, of the object. It's what it gives their name. El noun es lo que le da el nombre al objeto, a la persona. Y hay common nouns or proper nouns. Los common nouns are things like dog, table, um, car. And the proper nouns are the a specific name of that thing. My proper noun is Adriana. Um, daddy's is a proper noun for a type of car, okay? Then we have the pronoun, that it's the one that substitutes the noun. It's she, he, they, we, okay? Luego tenemos el pronoun, que es lo que viene a sustituir al noun, que son el she, he, they, we. The verb. The verb is the one that expresses the action in the sentence. Jump, write, run. It's the one that it's telling us what is going on in the sentence. Then we have the adjective. The adjective is the one that modifies or changes the noun or the pronoun, okay? It gives us more characteristics of that thing that we're talking about. Then we have the adverb. That is the one that describes the adjective, the verb. Again, it gives us a lot more information to know what is going on with this person and this action in the sentence. It puts 
more specific information into the sentence so we actually understand what is going on. Then we have the uh, prepositions. The prepositions are the one that we put before the noun in order to modify or connect ideas in the sentence. And then we have the conjunctions. The conjunctions are those words that connect two sentences that seems to be different into one. And, but, those are conjunctions, okay? There are two types of conjunction, coordinated conjunctions and subordinated conjunction. Now we have interjection. Interjection is the word that we use to express emotion. For example, in this sentence at the end when it says, oh my, the interjection gives more punch to the sentence. It gives a lot more to the sentence and it gives you more of a sense of the importance of what's going on. That's it for today, kids. I hope you understood all the concepts. I hope this capsules of information are enough for you to understand. Remember that you have, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the Google Classroom or send me an email and I'll answer as soon as I can. And that's it. I'll see you the next time. Bye.